Shalom, everybody. We are here with the commentary for day five. Yep. Yeah. All right, we're going to go through this twice. You're going to watch it twice. And uh, first time through, we're going to talk about story, um, story elements, why we did what we did going forward, give some clues towards the web series. And then the second time around, we're going to talk about all the technical stuff and the issues we had to run into and things we had to work around and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. So, all right. So we're going to go into the first one now, the first run through and talk about story. So here we go. Let's do it. All right, so here we are, day what one, eye-opening shot. shot. Um, basically, want to get the idea the that he closed his eyes again, and that kind of shows that's like, okay, I'm getting up again. You ever wake up and don't want to wake up almost? Like, you wake up and you're just kind of like, I have to wake up again another day, going back to where you wake up out of a dream. It's like, now I'm back to the grind of life, and his life is kind of, you know. <laughs> so um, you see him, you know, doing this. These shots don't mean a whole lot of deepness. It's just, you know, the things you do to get ready for the day. But yeah. Hopefully you can see in his face, you know, the, along with the voiceover, start from telling what's going on. You get the idea of, okay, this is his life. Kind of see the normal see it gets the contrast of the world that he's living in. Right, you know, right. That, that, that sort of thing. Um, because the fruit, the fruit that we needed for the shot. Peach. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, him sitting here at the door waiting. Uh, I feel you can probably get the vibe from this that this is something he does like every day. He just stands mm -hmm. there and waits for his brother, waits to see if he'll be home yeah, that yeah, day. Yeah. There goes the monster. You can get the idea that he wasn't supposed to be opening that curtain. He just did it because he was kind of wondering about his brother. And then he opens it and then, oh, there was a monster there. Yeah. So now he's a little shook here, but he's like, okay, get it together. He's got to get himself together because, you know, hey, you gotta, he's got to keep it together, you know. In yeah. this world, you can't be scared and afraid all the time um of course the theme you see through here is faith and his belief in that my brother's going to be okay everything's going to be okay everything's going to work out and i'm having faith going from going in this world and that's what's going to be a big theme in the web series especially knowing he's going to be going looking for his brother looking for danny and be able to hold on to faith and believe that it's going to work out i just truly believe that you know all right so you get to see the excitement here from going to go believing his brother but has to be cautious and be smart you kind of feel like, okay, his brother probably taught him, you know, be careful. Don't just open the door for him just immediately. Just, just like check, that. see who it is, what's going on, that kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, you know, definitely. His brother's back, you know, the one that's probably back. usually in charge, you know, so he kind of just relax now. He says we can be there in a day. Um, you don't get to see too much about Danny for, uh, like, his character so much. Yeah. Uh, now so, you're going to get explored later on the website. Yeah, so that's something you'll probably be able to see then. You know, I mean, well, I guess monster personality <laughs> at that point. But, uh, you know, and then it goes six another dark turns. So you had that moment of hope there, and now it's a dark turn here because he's affected now. It's like, oh, goodness. What yeah, do so it didn't give you any chance for to just get settled and say, yeah. Maybe even like, like we had time for that. Yeah, like no, yeah, minutes. we had time for that. <laughs> Explore things, mm -hmm. you know, things of that nature. Yeah, and, and I like really, I really like the dog tag as a set piece. Because mm -hmm. when we were first doing this, we really said, "All right, we need to have something that not, like the story can, can cling to." Yeah, so that be signifies. Built and that's what the dog. The, the we need a represent. toy at one point, but the dog tags worked best once we wrote in this fact about the dad. Yeah. Um. So that that worked perfectly. And yeah, and in here I love you know it's like a intense fight scene going on between him and like you know okay I'm fighting my brother I have to you know mm. run from him things of that nature so it's like very dramatic mm. uh, very sad and I think yeah. the music really you know, plays yeah. to that it's like it's a yeah sad the music thing is contrasting on. with the situation right. and see how you got that knife there you might say like, oh he should have just really stabbed me there's a hesitation there I mean yeah, can you really stab brother I mean yeah, that's his yeah. brother you know and I um was I hope everyone got the feel from when you know he came in he grabs his brother you know hugs him and things like that and you know you can see that there's a love between them and, and, and like they depend on one another that kind of thing mm -hmm. so yeah. and they take care of each other it's like the smart thing would have been for him to run and leave but he yeah. didn't he wanted yeah. to help his brother if he could even yeah. though he knew he could yeah. and here you see the payoff the the bride more for music the payoff of faith like okay i believed and god came through for me basically it's how you could see it in his in his eyes like, okay now i'm going to get him forget mm -hmm. the fear forget the doubt I'm going for it. Whatever's out there, I'm willing to face it. So I got to save the Lord. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. So that's day five. Uh, all right. So we're going to get into technical now, the technical side of things, which is pretty exciting. If you watched our uh, announcement video about the web series, you'll see uh, we showed you some of the uh, equipment that we were using. So you probably already know some of the things we went through. It was pretty fun. So, uh, all right, let's go in technical. Let's do it. So here we go for the technical aspect. 
Um, what can I say about this shot? That was kind of a funny shot. <laughs> yeah. See, now notice how I closed his eyes again. That was, uh, yeah, it worked for story, but it was because we were taking multiple takes. I was like, he was like, all right, do it again. Do the eye opening again. But when I had it, I needed some extra time for for the way that voice over matched up. Yeah. So when I did it again, when I had the eye closed, first I go take it out like, oh, wait, that's the next take. But I was like, wait a minute. He kind of gave the feel of, you know, um, okay, waking works. up for the day, you kind of almost don't want to wake up. So we left it in there. Yeah. So it wasn't on purpose, but it worked out perfectly well in post production. So yeah. That was good. Yeah. Um, you kind of see the pale look. This was color correction here. The shot didn't look like this when we were shooting it. So all this was uh, color That's correction. That's one of my favorite shots of the camera. Yeah, right going up like that. It was like, interesting because of the tripod. Yeah. Really, so. <laughs> and I, I best didn't use it at the tripod. That's not a real zoom. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. not a real zoom. I took that's a freeze frame, and then I zoomed it in using a post production in Final Cut Pro editing because our camera cannot zoom while recording. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> One other funny part about some of the stuff is like the shadows you'll see. Some of them look cool, and some of them don't. That's yeah. because you know amateur lighting. Mm -hmm. um, but some of them kind of came out pretty cool. Yeah. But I didn't like all the shadows. Yeah. I point some of them out yeah. in a place where I didn't like the light. Yeah. Um, that mm -hmm. scene there with the monster coming through the window. That was, um, we had to do to try to make him look different, put glasses on him and a hat so he yeah. wouldn't look like Danny from Lady because we're not supposed to be Danny, supposed to be somebody else. When we had two actors, so it was just us, yeah. So but, um, and also making that come off as something that would make you jump. It was really the editing that sold it because at first it wasn't working right, but then putting those little black spaces in there, those blackouts, yeah, really the helped. I mean, everything, like, as far as editing goes, that's really what up the quality of this yeah. movie because if we didn't have the types of different cuts, you know, with mm. the editing, it really would have come out. Stage. More cheesy, I mm. think, from the aspect. If you literally look at last stuff we had, even our background stuff, we didn't put a mm. lot of the time into our setting and where we were. Yeah, but it kind of just worked out. Yeah, just like that. I like how he came out of the darkness there. It really was just that dark outside, but I like yeah. how he kind of came out of the darkness. That could be like symbolic <laughs> in a sense. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. like, I kind of like how also, that worked it out. Also worked out for us because our outside isn't set for the setting of this movie yeah. either. Yeah, so and I really do think we should go back and explain this house. We're not gonna give anything away, but. Where they, like, this is the house they've always been living in when they were family, or did they find this house? Because it's fully furnished, yeah. so kind of interesting to see. And actually, where yeah, this we house do have from. plans to explain that. Yeah, too. so that that that's interesting. Um, so yeah, now we see here. Yeah, like th this one, is one of the shadows I was talking about, ugly, like just blocking my face. I hate yeah, it. my head shadow, <laughs> and we had so little room to work with there. Work. You know, yeah. I mean, it was really tight there. I didn't mean leaning back right there. I didn't have a lot of room to lean back. Yeah, I like the cuts here. I believe that added to the emotional. I, that was a decision I made later on. I was like, I think that adds to the whole emotional yeah. effect of it. Uh, There's little cool things like that, like they like the, with, the, with the editing, like mm. you know, like hands down, you know, Jalen, yeah. I know you, my brother, and everything, but you really are a really good editor. Thank you man. so much. And and I think that really helped up yeah. up up the, up the quality on it a bit. Mm -hmm. I even think because the lights that we had, they are actually pretty decent. Mm -hmm. They're older, but they are on some studio lights that we was able to get you know yeah. get our hands on. And uh, we don't know how to use lights properly all the way yet, mm -hmm. but I think it helped as far as you were able to go back yeah. and do color correction and things. Mm -hmm. And uh, another one, another video I talked about the music. I love that the most about this whole the way because um, the way that we decided to score. When, when I went to do the, do, to do the scoring for the mm. movie, I uh, liked how pretty much everything has a like classical piano kind of feel mm. to it. And I think that's a theme that I would like to see play through mm. the, and even throughout the whole web series yeah. because it's, to me, uh, kind of different from, uh, you know, a zombie yeah. thing or um, apocalyptic kind yeah. of setting. Yeah. And that kind of contrast yeah. there, I thought, and that's to me, to me made it seem more grown yeah. up and more adult. Yeah. And I thought it was pretty cool. And notice the that's brightness true. here. I changed the took the color correction off and made it look dark to show hope now. Yeah. Okay, let's, let's do this. So I did that right. to uh, change the effect. And I see it's bright outside. There's actually a lady out there who uh, I think I'm out of scared coming out there. So sorry, lady. <laughs> <laughs> but oh yeah, that wraps it up. Day five. Uh, yeah. 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 Good. I mean, it was fun doing it. I'm hyped for the web series. Yeah, most definitely. Uh, that's why we need to up our, uh, our equipment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we have a quick starter. Uh, yeah, Kickstarter. Kickstarter <laughs> now. If you want to just uh, pledge some money for the funding of this so we can get the equipment that we need, or you can just buy some t shirts if that's your desire. Um, we have that on uh, com. This little tab says shop, and it'll take you to the shop. You buy some t shirts, yeah, some hats. Some sweet, awesome paraphernalia. <laughs> <laughs> paraphernalia. But yeah, uh, the profits we get would help us to uh, getting the stuff together, locations and uh, equipment and all that good stuff. Yes. Yeah, we would try to keep it, uh, to keep it like, you know, I get that super duper professional uh, up there, hundred thousand dollars, you know. But oh, no, what's that you're talking about? Super duper professional equipment, you know. Oh. We have stuff that's going to look oh, good though. Why not? <laughs> but uh, no, but it's, it's going to be cool. So thank you for once again to everybody's been responding. Thank you for watching this video. Really do appreciate all it. the support. Really, yeah, man, we really do appreciate all the support yeah. you guys are giving us. So just yeah. peace, guys. <laughs> yeah.